so after all the concepts I've explained so far, by this time I think you should be able to know how to find uh, some things like maximum values, minimum values, whether it's in uh, just values or operations. Uh, the main thing being the last lesson we had, which is uh, how to get maximum and minimum values in operations. So today we're almost finalizing the topic and uh, we are looking at uh, how to calculate absolute, relative and percentage errors in operations. Basically, this is the last part of uh, almost the last part of the topic. So once you know how to do this, actually you can actually handle questions. Okay, so uh, <coughs> I'll use uh, some few examples to explain this. And uh, these few examples are going to involve those several, several operations that you've been learning, which are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And always remember that even if you talk about maybe operations that involve measurements, measurements, things like volume, surface area, area, or even in linear motion, speed, distance, time, and all that, all those will involve these four operations that you're talking about. So they should be either you are adding numbers, you're multiplying numbers, you're dividing numbers, you're subtracting numbers. And in all the cases, you have to understand how to get maximum of any operation, minimum of any operation. So we want to start with uh, <coughs> this example here. First of all, we start with absolute, absolute error in an operation. So if you want to get an absolute error in an operation, it is simply, you get the maximum value of that operation minus the minimum value of that operation, then you divide by two. This is the best way. Some people will say, you will simply say maximum minus actual. Some will say, you say actual minus minimum. But the best way is simply use maximum value of that operation minus minimum value of that operation, then divided by two. So using these examples, suppose we have a value which is A and the value of A is 8.2. Then I have another value B and the value of B is 3.6. So if you're asked to calculate the absolute error in the operation A plus B, remember it's A plus B, A plus B. So if you want to get the absolute error of A plus B, just like I've stated here, the first thing you should do is make, get the maximum value of A plus B. Remember the previous lesson, we said that if you want to get a maximum value in an operation which is addition, simply take the maximums of the values involved. So we go for maximum of A, which is 8.25, plus maximum of B, which is 3.65. So if you add these two values, that should give you uh, a 11.9. Okay, again, you get the minimum, minimum value of this operation. So if you want to get the minimum, again, if you remember from the previous lesson, it would be get the minimum of A plus minimum of B. That's in addition, which should be 8.15 plus 3.55. And if you add these two numbers together, you get 11.7. So if you want to get the absolute error in this operation, absolute error will be given by maximum, which is 11.9 minus minimum, which is 11.7, then divide by two. And the answer should be 0 0.1. So this is the value of absolute error of this operation, which was basically addition. So if you're adding values, you simply need to do exactly like I've explained there, and that gives you those values there. So still on the same same question, there are things like relative and also percentage errors. So if you want to get relative error of an operation from the first lesson, if you remember the first lesson we had, we had introduced basic things like absolute, relative, and percentage. And we said that relative error is normally given by absolute of that operation or that thing then divided by the actual value. So if I wanted to get the relative error of this operation, then it would be absolute value, which is the answer I got here. And that answer is 0 0.1, then divide by the actual value. Actual value is 
8.2 plus 3.6. Those values are exactly the way they are. So it's supposed to be 11.8. Then you can do this using a calculator. So for the same same question, if they asked percentage error, percentage error of this operation will be given by absolute error over actual value, then times 100. So which would be absolute is 0 0.1, actual is 11.8, then times 100. And if you do this operation, you'll get an answer which is 0 0.8. 84%. So you see, from this operation, in case you're being asked a question, either they can just ask you to get the maximum absolute error in the operation, and the answer will be 0 0.1. In case they ask you to get the relative error, you'll have to get the absolute, then over actual. In case they ask you to get the percentage error, then it will be absolute, you got over the actual, then you multiply by 100, simply because anything percentage you have to multiply by 100. So note that. Okay, next. Using the same same values, the value of A as 8.2 and the value of B as uh, 3.6. Now in this question, if it was an operation which is multiplication, A times B. Now, how do we handle this? So if the operation is multiplication, nothing different. Just from the previous lesson, learn how to get maximum values in multiplication minimum then once you have those values you use them so maximum value of this would be in a multiplication is just the same as addition you take the maximums which is 8.2 times 3 8.5 sorry times 3.65 and this multiplication should give you 30.1125 okay minimum value of this operation Minimum of this operation would be you take the minimums, multiply them, which is 8.15, then times 3.55. And this will give you an answer which is 28.9325. So, just like the previous question, if I want to get the absolute, it would be I take the maximum, which is 30.1125 minus the minimum, which is 28. 0.9325 then over the actual value oh no 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 not actually but divided by two and uh, if you do this operation you get an answer which is 0 0.59 approximately so this will be the absolute error in that operation uh, for the same same question in case they asked calculate the relative error of that operation a times b relative error is given by like I already said, relative error is uh, absolute over actual. So in this case, it means you first of all get the absolute and we got the absolute, which is 0 0.59 over actual value. Actual value, you simply say 8.2 times 3.6 and 8.2 times 3.6 should give you 29.52. So this would be relative. In case they asked for the percentage error, percentage error would be absolute over actual 29.52, then times 100, which would be, if you do this operation, you get something roughly 1.999%, think so, that way. So that operation was basically a multiplication. So next operation, of the same same, it can be using the same same values. E given that A is 8.2 and B equals to 3.6. Then you asked, find the absolute error in the operation A minus B. So you see now this is subtraction. And in subtraction, if you want to get the maximum of a subtraction operation, you get the maximum of the first value. We already said this in the previous uh, Lesson, if you go revise, we'll see that minus the minimum of the second value, which is 3.55. And if you did this operation, you should get something 4.7. Again, minimum. Minimum value for this will be you get the minimum of the first minus the maximum. So, minimum of the first will be 8.15 
minus 3.65. In case you forgot how to do this, just go back to the previous lesson and watch then see 4.5. Then absolute for this, just like in the other questions would be maximum, which is 4.7, minus minimum 4.5, then divide by two. And the answer should be 0 0.1. That's absolute. Uh, the same same operation in case they asked relative error. By now you should have known that relative error in any operation is given by absolute of that operation, which is this calculation you've done over the actual value of that operation. So relative error will be absolute, which is 0 0.1 over actual. Actual is 8.2 minus 3.6, which is the same as 4.6. In case they ask for the percentage error of that operation, then it will be absolute over actual, then times 100. Sometimes you can just say, uh, relative to 100, which will give you an answer which is roughly 2.17%, something of the sort. So you see, it is just reputation. The main thing here is, lies in the previous lesson that we had because everything lies around you knowing how to calculate maximum values and minimum values of any operations that are given. So the operations can be multiplication, division, addition, or subtraction. So you know it, that will help. Okay, the fourth one. In case that value, we are still using the same same values. A equals to 8.2, B equals to 3.6. Then I want you to calculate all those three things in the operation, A divided by B. So first we start with maximum. Max value will be in division, is just like subtraction. Maximum, you take the maximum of the first, divided by the minimum of the second, which is 3.55. And if you did this operation, it should give you an answer which is roughly 2.3239. That's maximum. Okay, minimum of the same operation. In minimum for division, you take the minimum of the first, which is 8.15, divided by maximum of the second, which is 3.65. And if you did this calculation, it should give you something like 2.2329. Uh, so now the absolute for this, absolute would be given by maximum, which is 2.3239 minus minimum 2.2329, then divide by 2. And if you did this, you should get an answer which is roughly 0 0.0455. Okay, just like the other questions, in case they ask something like, <coughs> calculate the relative error. No different, relative error would be given by, you get the absolute, which is the answer we got there, which is 0 0.04. Five five over the actual value. Actual value is eight point two divided by three point six, and it's roughly two point two seven seven eight. That's relative. In case they ask for the percentage error in this operation, will be absolute over actual two point two seven seven eight, then times a hundred. And the answer for this would be something roughly 1.998%. So you see, I've just used two values to try explain this using different operations. But I didn't say that when questions are asked, is it always in this form. Sometimes what I could is a question which involves something like maybe volume or area or something. Just an example, if someone tells you that a cylindrical team has, has a radius of, let's say, 3.8 centimeters and height. This is radius and height of uh, maybe 11.2 centimeters. Then you asked, calculate the percentage error in its volume. The first thing you should know is that 
Do you know the formula for calculating volume of a cylinder? Volume of a cylinder is supposed to be pi r squared h. You always work from the formulas. So since I have the formula, they never mentioned an error being in pi. Errors or oh, the values that are given there are just 3.8 and 11.2. So if I want to calculate the percentage error of this, you see the operation is multiplication. So it means I'll get the maximum value of this, which will be 22 over 7 times radius. Radius maximum will be 8 point, oh, sorry, 3.85. Uh, then times height maximum, which is 11.25. Then I'll get an answer. Again, I'll get the minimum value of this. Minimum value of this would be pi, 22 over 7. Minimum, because the operation is multiplication, for minimum, we just go for minimums. 3.75 squared times 11.15. Again, get the answer. Once you get these answers, you get the absolute. And you know the way, absolute, you get the max minus the minimum of the operation, then you divide by two. And once you get the absolute, then percentage error will be given by the answer you got absolute over the actual value, which means you just replace those values in the formula. Then you multiply by 100. That will be percentage error. So again, another thing I want you to note is that when you're doing questions, they talk of maximum absolute error in an operation. It is just the same as absolute error. There is no difference. Don't get confused. If you're doing a question, then they mention maximum absolute.